Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to do the burning scope effect. As you can see we have some stuff going on here. We have the, of course, the burning scope, the fire. But we also have some glow around the gun, some depth of field and also some displacement above the fire. Um, yeah, and also um, it zooms in when the fire starts burning. Okay, before we start, it would be awesome if you could like the video and also write a comment um, if you have any questions or other tutorial requests then yeah write them in the comments and please don't forget to like the video it really helps me out and the more likes I get the more tutorials I make and yeah okay um let's get started for this you will need action essentials too I can't just give it to you because you have to pay for this but I think you will find a way to get it um okay and in, uh, in this case I will use the torch turbulent 3 um, video from uh, action essentials, but you can pretty much use any other torch video or any other fire video from action essentials. So the first thing we have to do is change the anchor point of the fire because if we scale it up and down now, um, it will scale from that point. Uh, but we want it to scale up from the middle of the fire. So to do that, just select the fire layer and click and hold Y. And then you just drag that point into the middle and then just scrub scrub through and see if it fits. Okay, maybe over there. So I already added some tricks of slow motion to this clip. Um, I went from 100% speed to 4% and then there are a few frames of slow motion and then it goes back to 100. So now go to the very first frame where the slow motion starts. Select the fire um, layer and drag it onto the scope. Then go to the um, scaling and bring it down so that it fits and also change the position so that it fits. Okay, just like that. And then make a keyframe for the scale and position. Then go to the next keyframe, bring it down to the middle of the scope again and change the scaling so that it fits again. Then go to the next keyframe where the slow motion ends bring it back into the middle, change the scaling again so just like that okay and then go to the next keyframe where the slow, mo uh, slow motion ends and it's at 100% again bring up the scaling just like that then go forward a few frames again until it's completely scoped in bring it back into the middle and bring the scaling up uh, between those two keyframes over here, you uh, most likely have to do some more keyframing. So just bring this to the right again and scale it down a bit again for the few frames. So this all depends on which fire you're using and yeah, some other stuff. Okay, maybe like that. So. Uh, the last thing we have to do for the fire is we have to keyframe the opacity. Okay, once completely scoped in, right here, you go to opacity, bring it down to zero, keyframe it, then go forward, uh, go back a few frames again, bring it back to 100, then go to the very first keyframe where the slow motion starts, bring the opacity down to zero, go to the next keyframe where the slow motion is at 4%, bring it up to 100. So now we already have the basic fire effect. Let me just preview this for you. Um, now you can add some stuff like depth of field, zooming in, and displacement. I won't uh, show you everything like specifically now, but I can show you how I did most of the stuff. So this is the basic fire effect. Already looks quite nice, but okay. Um, I'll show you how I added some uh, some of the other stuff. Let me just disable the color correction and all the other things. So uh, first of all, the depth of field. I use the effect fast blur, blur for this, and let me just open up these keyframes. And I basically um, just I uh, created the mask. Uh, sorry, I, I just created the mask around the gun. If you want the tutorial on, um, yeah, I already have a tutorial on advanced masking, so it will be linked in the top left or right of the screen. So just click on that, and also in the description. So just check out that tutorial if you want to know how to do this stuff and how to keyframe a mask. So basically I just keyframed the mask so that it fits around the gun. 
and then I added the fast blur effect. I um, first of all, there's a really st strong blur, then it goes back a bit, and then then it disappears. So the next thing I added was a glow. For that, again, I just added a mask around the uh, gun, and um, I used the curves adjustment and turned the RGB cur uh, curves up a bit and the red curve. You could probably put the blue down a bit and um, so that it's a bit more orange and less purple. Um, and also you don't have to use a circular mask, I was just a bit uh, too lazy. I, w I would uh, mask out the whole gun and uh, hand, but I was just too lazy. And then I just keyframed that and made it disappear again. So the next thing I added was the displacement. For that I used the uh, Magic Bullet Misfire displacement effect. That's the easiest way to do this, but not the best. You could use some other effects for this, but I just keyframed the amount from uh, 5 to 1, and then just back to 5 and back to 1 all the time, and just made the mask above the fire so that just this p uh, the part above the fire is displaced. Then for the zoom, you could pre-compose all of this and then just um, play around with the scaling and stuff, or you could add the effect magnify. Um, basically, that's just um, yet. Yeah, actually, let me just show that to you. If you add that effect, you uh, normally have um, how the hell? Uh, just this circle, so they you just drag that up, so that everything is magnified and then play around with the magnification. So I basically just um, made that go from uh, 100 to 110 and then back a bit. So what that does, it zooms in, then zooms out a, a bit, zooms in, and then zooms completely out. And then the last thing I added is some color correction. I would add that above the fire layer because it looks better like that. And that's pretty much it. Also, uh, for the zoom, I also added a simple wiggle expression to the uh, center um, so that we have some camera shake going on when it's zooming in. Okay, that's pretty much it, it for the burning scope effect. If you have any tutorial requests, write them in the comments and please don't forget to like the video. It really helps me out and yeah, maybe also favorite it. Um, yeah, please like the video and bye.